Hey, poor guy out there cooking. Whoop whoop. <clears throat> All right, so I just I just started it and I didn't have my mic on, so I have to remember what I was going to say. So pork belt, pork belly burnt ends. This is what I've been wanting to do for a long time. Okay, so I got this little one, and I, I found out at this local supermarket here that the butcher could actually take a, a big pork belly and cut it to the size I want. But they had these already since I've never done this, and we don't really know if we're even going to like them. I found this nice little one for 10 bucks versus one for $40. So, okay, so that I was just thinking to myself with the thumbnail, right? So you already know, because... There's the thumbnail, and then there's my video. I haven't done a thumbnail. I haven't even cooked these. I haven't done anything, so I don't even know if it's going to work. But you do know if it's going to work. That's interesting to me. Huh. It's almost like time has warped. Okay. So I, I there's a million and two videos on pork belly burnt ends. It seems pretty simple to me, and it seems quite delicious. So... I'm going to go ahead and cut these up into cubes. I see one inch cubes and stuff like that, whatever. Uh, we're just going to see how it goes. I, I, I don't want to cut it up on camera because half the time when I'm cutting meat, I don't know what I'm doing. But we're going to cut these up to sections and then I'll show you the next step. So uh, come on back here in a second. All right, that'd be great. Peace. Hey, I wanted to come back and show you what, you know, the side of the pork. So bacon, right? This one looks pretty good. It's got a good amount fat over here but I just want to show you what the size of that look like in case you've never seen it I'm sure you all have I have it yep. looks like bacon all right let me get to cutting this up be right back all right there's our cubes they look good you know there's you know kind of an inch I guess is the general rule um, I'm just going with one of our favorite all-purpose seasoning Weber um, some people use you know a sweet one and a savory one and all that jazz um so when we do these when we make them into burnt ends we are going to add uh, brown sugar butter and and honey to it uh, so i don't think you need anything too sweet at this point but that's just me uh so you just want to I mean, use it up i know these can withstand a lot of seasoning we're just going to coat each side Get them just coated. Good and good stuff there. And again, I've never done these. This is not a how-to video. It's a typical poor guy video. And if you're new here, this is kind of how we do things. I've never done these. I've never worked with pork belly. Uh, and it's super cold out today, at least for us Oklahomans. And uh, so I'm going to attempt to do these on my char griller acorn junior my little guy because it hit it, it, um, it stays pretty pretty consistent in cold weather so that's that's the goal so i'm going to go outside and get that charcoal and everything warm warm and hot and goodness and i don't even know what i'm saying and get that i'm going to get that thing started and then we'll meet you outside uh if you're still with us okay thanks peace okay there we go we got the little char griller acorn junior all set up as you can see, it's reading pretty high temperature. It took quite a while to get the charcoal where I need it to be. Uh, typically on this style, they recommend using lump charcoal. I didn't have any, so I'm going with the B&B &B competition char logs. They're great for holding temperatures and keeping them for a long time. The one bad thing about them is they take quite a while to get ignited. So I don't mind it being at 400 because we're going to go ahead and open her up. So ideally, we're looking about you know what you would typically smoke um, meet that low and slow anywhere from two 200 to 250 I'm okay with I do have my heat deflector in there and a couple of uh, mesquite chunks of wood in there so not a big deal I tried to find a little grate that I could put down in there and make it more convenient but I couldn't find anything that would fit in there so let's just pop this stuff in there <laughs> oh boy <laughs> Yeah, come back here, you little bugger. So as you can see, that was uh, less than two pounds of pork belly. And uh, you got quite a bit out of it. So I'm glad we decided not to go with uh, a real big piece of it. Again, we, we're not even sure if we're going to like this. Uh, 
but it sure does look good in the videos i've seen people what do they call it they call it meat candy i guess that's kind of fun meat candy right there's some flames there so i want to avoid that for now because we don't want to we don't want to get these burnt so we'll just spread them out a little bit and go with that again i'm looking for 250 225 i'm okay get away from that get away from that flame we'll let that die down a little bit we're going to go ahead and close this up at this point lock her down and we're going to choke her up on the top and on the bottom okay it's super cold out for us anyway 22 degrees a little bit of a breeze so I, I made Donna come out here and do it. I was going to set up the tripod. I didn't make her do it. She volunteered because she's a good egg. She's a good she's a good wife, and I love her so much. So, okay, so you can see we choked her down. We'll get some smoke going in there. Try to get that temperature regulated. A uh, couple hours, hour. We'll come back in an hour and, and uh, see how these buggers are doing. Hopefully this works. Okay, we're going to go back inside. Peace. Okay, yeah, there we are. Uh, there's our char griller. It's been holding right at 250 uh, since the start of this. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you one mistake I made. Again, this is my first time. Uh, so it was a little too hot at the beginning and some of my little burnt ends got burnt. <laughs> Not all of them, just uh, some of them that were around the flame, which I don't know if it really makes that big of a difference. I mean, it's like crispy bacon, basically. So let's get these. I'm going to use this this Dutch oven for the second part of the process. And yeah, some of these, like I said, uh, they were sitting over the flame and initially it was it was too hot at the beginning. So a uh, rookie mistake. Go ahead and let me have it for all you professionals out there that have done this a hundred times. I'm willing to take uh, some lessons, but I think I, I got that part figured out. So it is what it is. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this in the house and we are going to add the barbecue sauce, brown sugar, and honey. And then we're going to bring it back out here. So I'm going to open this all up. Let that flame get high and nice and hot in there. And, uh, oh, yeah, okay. So, again, typical poor guy video. I did probe them. I wasn't necessarily concerned about the temperature, but I did look at the temperature. They're probe tender, so... Uh, most of them are reading right around 200. So uh, we're going to go ahead and bring them in the house and put some stuff on them. Yeah. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Pause. Peace out. All right, there they are, our little crispy pieces. Let's go ahead and put some barbecue sauce on there. This is just uh, head country barbecue sauce. Uh, just original good old barbecue sauce. Uh Let's put some butter in there. I don't know if there's a right way to do this or a wrong way to do it. It's kind of like when you do ribs, I guess, the three, two, one method of ribs. Let's put some brown sugar in there. I think that's good. I don't know. Again, I don't know. Oh, I got the TV going. Oh, sorry. That's all right. We're watching... Uh, yeah, look at that. We we're watching the worst cooks in America. <laughs> That's kind of fitting for the poor guy, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Uh, more barbecue sauce. Okay, so we're going to bring this out, and we're going to put it back on the acorn. I'm going to cover it up. We're going to let it cook for, I don't know, some more time. Like I said, it, it took less than an hour to get it to that point. And uh, we're going to bring it out there. Uh, uh, I won't bring Don out there. It's still cold. And then we're going to let it cook out there for a certain amount of time. I don't know. I'll let you know. And then uh, see what happens, I guess. Poor guy, pork belly burn ins as usual. I have no idea. Peace. Let's take a look at these bad boys. It's been about another half an hour. There's my little Dutch oven. Oh, steamy. Oh, mm, that smells good. Can you guys see them? Oh, yeah, it does smell really good. Okay. We're just going to leave this in here for a little bit longer. Oh, man, that smells good.
they look fantastic. Uh, we're going to leave this in here for a little bit longer and hopefully get to that, I don't know, that burnt end kind of part, even though some of them are already burnt. Uh, next time you see us, we'll be in the house and we'll plate it up and give them a try. Okay? Come on back here. Peace. Hi. Look it. There they are. Um, okay. So, really, that's what they're supposed to look like, minus the ones that got charred at the beginning, like... I threw out there the the temperature of the acorn was a little too high at first but all in all it looked good so about an hour the first section there uh, and then we put the brown sugar the barbecue sauce the honey and the butter on there about another half an hour with the lid on and then about five ten minutes with the lid off and this is what we came out with so uh, Dawn is right there, Aiden is right there, I'm right here. Let's go ahead and give these a try. Uh, like I said, I've been talking, oh boy. I've been talking about these for quite some time. <laughs> Hopefully they're good. Did you want to restart? Uh, no, it's okay. Sip it. Okay. Okay. Let's give them a whirl. Cheers, everybody. Mm. That's actually really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Boy, oh boy. Enough there. Lord. Hey, please. Please time out. Why don't you that? Uh, <laughs> they're good. Um, they're savory. Sweet. Um, what do you guys think? I like it. I like it. Yeah. I want it on rice or something. Yeah, rice would be good. Not too bad at all. I like them. They're very good. I think I overdid them a little bit. Um, but the flavor is right on, I think. I've never had them before, so... Overall, I'm pleased. Are you guys pleased? Yeah, yes. they're very good. Okay. All right, our first attempt. And we're gonna we're gonna snack on these for a little while. That's a poor guy video for you, as usual. First time cook. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, please. That'd be great. Peace.